Today, Intel's next-gen releases win, future NVIDIA tech will completely change gaming, next-gen rise in performance, and their upcoming Strix Halo is even better than we thought. Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. First up for today, it looks like we have release dates for Intel's next-gen desktop and notebook CPUs. In a new post from Benchlife, they rebut a story from DigiTimes that claims the upcoming notebook Lunar Lake shipments were delayed until September. Intel actually released their own statement where they claimed that Lunar Lake had not been delayed. Instead, the upcoming parts will be releasing in September, meaning the shipments had to happen before that. According to Benchlife, the launch will be between September 17th and the 24th. Then when it comes to Intel's next-gen desktop parts, their Arrow Lake CPUs will apparently go on sale in October. That is, their overclockable K SKUs will be in October along with their Z890 chipset. But their non-K SKUs with the B860 and H810 chipsets won't come until CES of next year. Basically, while Intel is planning to release their next-gen desktop this year, it's apparently going to be quite a bit after AMD's own Ryzen 9000. Time will tell if the wait will be be worth it. Next up for today, NVIDIA has some massive plans for future tech in games. I'm talking something that could completely change graphics fidelity forever and make it easier on developers at the same time. During a recent Q&A with NVIDIA CEO Jensen Wang, he was asked about the future possibility of AI in gaming. And in his response, he talks about DLSS and frame generation, but then he says, quote, in the future, we'll even generate textures and objects, and the objects can be of lower quality and we can make them look better. We'll also generate characters in the games. Think of a group of six people, two may be real, and the others may be long-term use AIs. Basically, he's claiming that AI could soon generate textures or even objects. Right now, they offer something similar with their RTX Remix software made for modders to make games better. But this, of course, sounds like we're talking about it being done in real time. And if this actually ends up working well enough, this, I think, could be a huge thing for the industry. Because right now, while there are better and better tools for upping graphics fidelity in games like Unreal Engine, etc., it still takes more and more work to keep up with the insane level of details needed for each new generation, which is one of the reasons pricing has gone up so dramatically for making AAA titles. So something like this could bring the price down for developing extremely lifelike games, which is a win for everyone. Of course, it could also allow game developers to use it as a crutch similar to how many seem to be using DLSS. Fingers crossed that one doesn't happen. And next up, AMD recently announced their next-gen Ryzen APUs. And stupid naming aside, it's a very nice upgrade over last gen. But of course, everything we have so far in terms of performance are coming from AMD themselves. And for obvious reasons, it's best not to trust third-party reviews. Luckily, it looks like we have one of our first real looks at AMD's upcoming parts. The story comes from a new post by hardware tester David Wayne, where he got a chance to borrow an engineering sample from a friend who apparently works in a small factory. More specifically, he got a chance to look at AMD's Ryzen AI 9 365. Now, that's obviously the smaller of the two upcoming chips, but he goes over the exact IPC increase here, so this should apply to the higher-end model as well. Either way, the Ryzen 9 365 comes with 4 Zen 5 cores and 6 Zen 5C cores. The test system also comes with 32GB of LPDDR5X memory, but that's all he mentions. In the benchmarks, he compares it to last-gen 7840U and the Zen 3 Plus 7735U. And when it comes to performance, you can see that in Geekbench 6, Zen 5 got an IPC boost of 15.2% over Zen 4. Then in Geekbench 5, it got a boost of 17.6%, though a 19% in floating point performance. And finally, in Spec 2017, Zen 5 got an IPC boost of 9.7%. Now, obviously, that one is lower than the other two, but but remember that this is an engineering sample. Regardless, this puts it right around the 16% IPC increase AMD promised. Though I will say that the individual
individual metrics shown in this chart for Geekbench 6 and 5 aren't as high as what AMD said, but the 365 CPU is also running at a lower clock than the Zen 4 part, and the overall performance is still pretty close. Plus, these benchmarks are really random, so I'm assuming that 16% comes from more than just this. Oh, and they also confirm the parallel dual pipe instruction throughput is in fact up to double Zen 4. All in all, AMD's next-gen Zen 5 is looking like a very nice upgrade, but it doesn't seem like the company is actually sandbagging performance. And lastly for today, forget about the two upcoming Ryzen AI chips, because if you've been following this channel, you know that the company has a monster APU with 16 Zen 5 cores and a whopping 40 RDNA 3.5 CU set to destroy discrete GPUs. And if you aren't following the channel, make sure you subscribe to get all the best PC hardware news first. Either way, that upcoming monster APU is called Strix Halo, and it was recently spotted in a new shipping manifest. As you can see, it shows the new FP11 socket as well as support for 120 watts for the APU. But get this, while we've seen a shipping manifest with 32 and 64 gigabytes of memory for Strix Halo before, this bad boy comes with a whopping 128 gigabytes, making this even more of an epic APU for when it releases. According to everything we've seen, Strix Halo comes with a 256-bit memory bus and LPDDR5X8000 memory. And while AMD hasn't technically confirmed it, besides all the leaks about it already, a very trustworthy source of my own has confirmed its existence. Basically, when AMD decides to release this bad boy, NVIDIA and Intel may need to run, and given the testing they're clearly doing, that's likely set to be fairly soon. So while that does it for today, are you pumped for AMD's next-gen monster APU? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you like the video, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. And as always, have a great day!